Hi, my name is Chris. It's been a while since the last video and I'm sad to say the cube isn't finished yet. Between work, a vacation and a new house I'm buying, I didn't have much time to work on it. I also ran into a problem that I'm not sure that I can overcome, but let me first show you what I did in the meanwhile. To have a feedback loop for the motor, I used some switching hall sensors. They detect change in magnetism, so if you hold them close to the magnets of the motor, they start to switch on and off when you rotate it. To mount them, I made a custom PCB in a holder that fits around the motor. It took some time to fine tune the positions of the sensors and the code for the feedback loop. But at the end, it seems to work reasonably well. I also added an opposing brake part to minimize the deflection of the flywheel. It's kind of a hack job, but it does seem to do the trick. I also made some changes to the ES8266. The cube still has its own Wi-Fi and web server, but I replaced the communications with web sockets. And that seems to be much faster than the POST requests I used. And now for the problem I have. I can tilt the cube, but only with one motor mounted. As soon as I add another one, the cube is just too heavy. I can pinch off some weight here and there, but I'm not sure if it will be enough. So that will be something to think about in the next days. Sorry for the late update and thanks for watching.